صلاة الله على طه اليماني صلاة الله على طه اليماني بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم مبارك على سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين الصحابة والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين إن الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد القرآن الكريم يا أيها النبي إن أرسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking about the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi barak sallam that he has sent him forth as a shahid, the one who bears witness, the mubashir, the one who gives good news, the nazira, the one who warns against the punishment of Allah. And he salawatu rabbi wa salamun alayhi is like the shining sun. He is that lamp in the darkest of nights. He is the caller towards Allah by his permission. The expansion of that attribute of Rasulullah sallallahu of calling to Allah, we have received it through the coming of Sayyidina Al-Habib Abdul Rahman as saqaf to our lands. Since he has come, Alhamdulillah, it reminded me greatly of the prophetic tradition that the men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those, when if you look towards them, you think of Allah. And a caller towards Allah is sincere in the matter and you see the result of that sincerity when they call towards Allah the people they are calling towards Allah start practicing the deen firmly the words penetrate people's hearts the love of Rasulullah expands within them the understanding of being a slave starts to increase within them and they start to become true slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Sa'ada as the name itself suggests is felicity and this tour they have organized of Habib Abdul Rahman in this land has been something that has brought about felicity in many people's lives. Those cities that were dry for a while have now become felicious. And Habib Abdul Rahman al-Saqaf is expansion of Allah's mercy for us by giving us the gems from the Prophet tradition and the Quran al karim And I sincerely hope and pray that his visit is not the last in our lands, but is the first of many. And every single thing that he has taught us, Allah enable us to implement it in our life. We are able to practice it and pass it on to others. We can only say that sincerely, when Rasulullah said, Al ulama wa anbiya, that the scholars are the inheritors of the Prophets, we have received a true inheritor of the Prophet in the face of Habib Abdul Rahman as Sagaf. I sincerely hope and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants Sa'ada even more increase in the works that they are doing in calling people towards Allah and calling scholars from abroad to this land whom we are able to take from and become obedient slaves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and true lovers of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I call the and wa astaghfirullah